for joining us on 12 News HD. Today, a Jefferson County jury rendered a 40-year prison sentence to 28-year-old Charles Sterling. He stands convicted of killing his wife with at least 10 blows to the head from a hammer. Prosecutors say Sterling did it to trade her car for crack cocaine back in 2008. 12 News reporter Michael Seiden spoke with the victim's family. Briggs remembers her sister Geraldine Citizen as a loving and caring woman. It's been very difficult, hard, you know, looking at the pictures and knowing that she was actually, you know, beaten with a hammer 22 times. Briggs testified Thursday against her brother-in-law, 28-year-old Charles Sterling who a judge sentenced to 40 years in prison after he was convicted of first-degree murder. My sister is not brought back by this, but 40 years is better than what we've been dealing with. During the trial, prosecutors like argued that trouble. Sterling and Citizen, a married couple, got into an argument about money in April of 2008. Prosecutors stated that Sterling was upset and struck his wife in the head 22 times, killing her with blunt force trauma. From there, prosecutors say Sterling turned over her car in exchange for crack cocaine. Investigators found the car in bloody clothes that belonged to Sterling. The defense told the jury that it was thugs who killed Citizen and Sterling's clothes were bloody because he had held Citizen's body after discovering her dead. The jury took two hours to convict him. And after the sentencing, Sterling's family exited without talking to the media. But his attorney shared their thoughts. My client is very stoic. He's, he's kind of still in shock from the, the guilty verdict. But the, the family is very disappointed. Uh, they were hoping to bring their son home with them. And we still have to live with that. It doesn't stop here. You know, it's continuous for us. In Beaumont, Michael Seiden, 12 News HD. Charles Sterling will be eligible for parole in 2030.